Welcome, my viewers, to part 6 of my Super Mario Sunshine replay. Now, before I play the next course of the game, which will be Pianta Village, I'm finally going to be playing Episode 8 of Bianco Hills that I've been slacking on until now. Although the main reason why I haven't been playing it yet was because I thought that maybe I needed to unlock the rocket and turbo nozzle in Delfino Plaza, but Suppy tells me I may be wrong. But yeah, Episode 8 is the Red Coins of the Lake, and I do believe this is also the best course to- or the, no, the best episode to get the 100 coin challenge. In Bianco Hills, of course. And I'm also finally going to be playing the 100 coin challenges for every previous course that I played throughout the replay. And you'll also see that I now have 151 blue coins. As I mentioned before that- oh crap, I didn't mean to exit that. But as I mentioned before, I was gonna, or I've been collecting many of the blue coins off camera. I got all 30 blue coins from Bianco Hills, Gelato Beach, Rico Harbor, Peanut Park, and Noki Bay. And while I'll be playing the red coins of the lake, I'll also be doing the 100 coin challenge. I'm just not exactly sure where I want to start. Well, I suppose... No, no, on second thought, I will collect the red coins first. Then I'll get the 100 coins. So I see one red coin right there. Just gotta cross all these blue plant-like creatures. Don't know what they're called. Oh, God, how did I miss that tightrope? The rocket nozzle, it may come in handy for this course. Actually, I'll wait until I need it. The next red coin is just right here, and I see another one over there above another tightrope. You can, you can ride that lily pad by standing on it and then spraying at it using blood to make it move. But there was no need for it here. So now the rest of the red coins may be way up there upon all those other tight ropes. And I'm still not going to get the rocky nozzle just yet. I am first going to bounce off these ropes. This one will be next. And that whirlwind creature missed. Very good. But of course, these electrical creatures upon the ropes are back too. But at least getting hit doesn't knock you off the rope. There's number seven. Where could the last one be? And it's up there. I'm pretty sure... Oh, look at that. It's a cactus creature. Oh, okay, well. I guess you don't have to make it fall down before you can jump on it. And it looks like I won't be needing the Rocky Lonzo after all. Okay, after I get that shine sprite, I'll come back and do the 100 coin challenge, because unlike in Super Mario 64, where if you get the 100 coin star, you stay in the course, well, that doesn't happen in this game. Even getting the 100 coin shine sprite will make you leave the course.
So, now that I finally got, well, the second to last Shine Sprite for Bianco Hills, it's now time to do the 100 coin challenge. And I'm going to be cutting this part until I get to almost 100 coins, since hunting down the coins isn't exactly all that interesting. It, it, it takes a while. Not as long as it does with collecting blue coins, but still, it takes a while, and I don't want to bore you with it, so... I'll be cutting right now. Alright, so I only have 14 coins left to get here. I'm gonna get the last of the coins by... Well, first of all, you can see that there's a beehive right here. And when you take out the beehive, the bees themselves get angry and then fly after you to sting you. To take out the bees, you need to use a Yoshi. And of course, there was one at the very beginning of the course. And that Yoshi wants a coconut, which I already got. That clearly missed. Here's your coconut, Yoshi. Now let's get those bees. So before the bees will come after you, you... Oh, come on. So first you gotta spray down the beehive. Spray it with as much of Yoshi's juice as possible until it falls down. And now you can eat them up with Yoshi's tongue. And oh god. Come on, get up! Get up, Mario! Yoshi can also eat butterflies in, in, in courses like this one and in Gelato- or no no no. In uh, Peanut Park. And there will also be blue butterflies in the game, which will of course provide you with blue coins. That was the first beehive. Oh, come on! What are those blue things even dropping? Down you go, beehive number two. Oh, jeez! Oh, come on! I'm trying to get away from those things so I can eat the bees. Oh my god, get up! All right, that's the 100 coin challenge. Where will the Shine Sprite be? Way up there. I better get rid of the rest of the bees first. They're gonna chase me all the way to the Shine Sprite. Come on, get that. Thank you. Sorry I have to leave you, Yoshi, but you served your purpose here. Just be thankful I'm not making you fall into a bottomless pit like in Super Mario World. So now I officially gotten every Shine Sprite in Bianco Hills. Now it's time to move on to the 100 coin challenge for Rico Harbor. Then Gelato Beach, then Peanut Park, and then Noki Bay. In fact, this, uh... This whole part here will pretty much be all about getting the 100 coin challenges. And from this point on, for every new course I play, I will include the 100 coin challenges in the video I play them in. Now I heard that episode 3 is the best one for getting 100 coins in Rico Harbor, so I might as well go with that. Well, apparently, there are a ton of coins along the steel beams. Alright, footage cut time. Come on, I'm 
almost there. All right, it's about time. This episode didn't really have as many coins as I thought it would. I looked up game facts, and one entry said that episode 3 was the best uh, episode to get the 100 coins, but it doesn't really feel like it to me. You also just saw me using the turbo nozzle, and, well, you clearly see what it does, and thankfully, crashing into anything doesn't kill you like it does when you ride a blooper. Now, where did the Shine Bright land? Right there. That's every Shine Bright in Rico Harbor. So, that means Gelato Beach is next. And I heard that episode 8 of Gelato Beach is the best to get any 100 coins, although it's still pretty difficult to do, even there. It feels like that it practically has exactly 100 coins, and you gotta make sure you don't miss a single one. And I said practically, that doesn't mean that it really does have exactly 100. I'm just saying that even in episode 8, it takes a while to find all the 100 coins. Oh, and uh, Delfino Plaza has a 100 coin challenge as well, but I'm gonna wait until I beat the game for the first time before I try it. So, once again, it's footage cut time. Well, here I am getting the last four coins of Gelato Beach. One way to get coins is to continuously break the watermelons around here, and they, they can give you up to 10 coins for each one. But of course, you can only break all of the lone watermelons. Like, you can't break any of the contestants' watermelons. You know, the ones at the Watermelon Festival. Just one more. And that's it for Gelato Beach. Oh, and like always, it goes way over there. Oh yeah, and you can see that Mario is wearing sunglasses right now. I got them from the Yellow Pianta. You know, like, uh, every course has a Yellow Pianta who will give you sunglasses whenever you have enough Shine Sprites. I believe I mentioned that before, like, back in the Bianco Hills part, or part one of the playthrough. Apparently, when you get enough Shine Sprites, the island will become bright enough for Mario to want to have sunglasses. And the island definitely looks pretty bright right now. I'll show off the guy who gives you sunglasses when I get back to Peanut Park. Okay, so which episode had the Monty Mole with the cannon? Mm, that's this one. I believe I mentioned before that Episode 2 is one of the best episodes of Peanut Park to get 100 coins. But instead of Episode 2, I'm going to Episode 6. This one is also good for getting 100 coins, even though there are no bullet bills there. And I'll be staying on the beach part of Peanut Park the whole time. Also, this here is the yellow pianta who you talk to to get sunglasses. I don't know how many shine sprites you need to get so that the guy will give you sunglasses, but of course I have enough. Oh, and also, if you beat the game for the first time, not only will that guy give Mario sunglasses, but also a Hawaiian shirt. I feel like I may have mentioned that before already. There are those enemies that take Mario's hat when they touch you. So, also, you can see that spraying the sand on the beach makes coins pop up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do to get all 100 coins. 
I just gotta make sure I don't miss too many of them. And apparently, these flying guys right here provide five coins. So make sure to take all of them out, too. And I may not even have to cut this part, because getting 100 coins to Pina Park doesn't take too long. There's also a Yoshi right here, and in order to get fruit on the beach, just like with the coins, you just gotta keep spraying the sand until a fruit appears. This Yoshi wants bananas. And really, all you have to do is just keep spraying the sand until a banana finally appears. Sorry, little sunflower, didn't mean to spray you, even though flowers like water. Where are those bananas? That's a durian. I don't really even need Yoshi anyway, but I just thought I'd hatch him for the heck of it. Well, I'm more than halfway there now. Let's take out this flying guy. Oh god, that one got Mario's hat. Get down here, you. Oh, really? I jumped on that one, but somehow I still got damaged. Come on, I, I'm pretty sure there's still more coins around here. Ah, here are the bananas. So I might as well just ride on Yoshi for the rest of the 100 coins. And I'm almost there. Oh yeah. Pina Park is done. And I might as well show you the animation that you get for obtaining the Shine Spray while riding Yoshi. Yahoo! So now, on to Noki Bay. I'm gonna assume that Episode 8 is the best one to get the 100 coins. Especially because of the red coin fish. Well, I didn't get half the coins just yet, but I think now I'm ready to go underwater with the red coin fish. I'm hoping that I can still get the rest of the 100 coins from there. Surely, there's bound to be coins scattered everywhere around here. You just gotta make sure you don't let your oxygen run out, of course. And done. Episode 8 was definitely the best episode to get the 100 coins. Apparently, the red coin fish provided, provided a whole lot of coins. Because why wouldn't it? Well, now this time, the shine spray went pretty upward. It went up instead of down. You know, like in the Ely Mouth Dentist challenge.
There it is. And now no key bay is complete. And that's good because I'm still not very fond of this course. I do believe this may be the end of part 6. In the next part, I'll play the next new course of the game, which will still be Pianta Village. But first, I want to show off a little something. By hitting the L button, you'll open this menu right here, which tells you how many blue coins you got in each course. Like I said, there are 30 of them in every main course of the game. Although Delfino Plaza doesn't have that many, I don't remember how many blue coins it has, but I'll focus on those later. And when you go here, it shows you how many Shine Sprites you got overall. Okay, so... Yeah, you, you get it now. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you later in Part 7. Bye, guys.